have some specialty stitches on this machine. For example, in row four, stitch number 37 is a candle wicking stitch. Now when you pull it up, the picture on the screen for the foot recommends, a. it says a question mark. What it's saying is that the foot doesn't come with the machine. It's one you will need to purchase to do this stitch really well. And it's called the Specialty Candle Wicking Foot. Here's what it looks like. The foot, as it has underneath, is a complete cutout. And then that way there's plenty of room as the stitch builds up really high. You'll see when I stitch it. And especially if you stitch with some thicker thread, so almost like a really, yeah, really thick thread, it will have plenty of room for it to go ahead and stitch out. You're gonna see that it actually kind of creates that little French knot that you're seeing there. Let me try something here. We'll do stop. And we can make this bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the stitch width bigger and the stitch length a little bigger too. So we can get a, a bigger option to our settings. This will really pile up if you don't use uh, a specialty foot. Room for that stitch to go out the back side. This looks fun. Here, I'll show you. The locking at the end after I push stop, and then we'll pull it right on out. You have a variety of stitches that you could do take a pattern, draw it out, and then just follow around with these beautiful candle wicking kind of faux stitches.